At 637, so the Houston Food Bank turns 40 today. It was back in 1982, a dream of a small group of concerned citizens really came to life. And, and since then, it's become the country's largest food bank. It's really incredible. Our Zach Lajway sat down with Houston Food Bank's second executive director to talk about what he calls the nonprofit's rough start and how it became fruitful and successful in time. Inside these walls, work that feeds and fuels our greater Houston community. Since 1982, Houston Food Bank has distributed close to 2 billion pounds of food throughout 18 counties in Southeast Texas. The Houston Food Bank, as successful as it is now, uh, had a rough start. David Williams is a former executive director of Houston Food Bank. No sooner had the food bank opened, uh, it, it got shut down by the city of Houston Health Department. And then we got kicked out of the Second Harvest National Food Bank uh, network. We terminated our contract with the state of Texas. Williams says they were turning away more people than they were serving. If the food bank was going to grow, we needed to be viewed by the food industry as a as an organization that was, you know, serious about food quality in the early 80s, Houston was booming. And because of that, Williams says, the perception of why there was a need for a food bank in Houston was a challenge. That oil boom begins to become an oil bust. And now, all of a sudden, there are people that are having to go to a, a, a church pantry who never in their wildest dreams thought they would have to go someplace for food. William says media, especially KPRC2, played a fundamental role in Houston Food Bank's growth. Channel 2 came up with a, an all-day spring food drive that was huge, number one, because of the amount of food that was distributed. Here's an image of longtime KPRC2 anchor Ron Stone volunteering at the event. Among Houstonians helping Houstonians, First Lady Barbara Bush. I can't tell you how huge that was. What are you most proud of? What I'm most proud of is that the organization is actually doing better uh, since I've been gone. I actually think the mark of a good leader is that things are actually set up and, and the better success occurs after they're gone. The success of this food bank is a reflection of this community. Today, there will be a special celebration for its volunteers, and celebrations like this will take place throughout the year. People are already setting up signs and balloons. It's going to be a party today, guys. Owen and Lisa? Yeah, a very important one as well, Zach. And we've been uh, you know, proud, of course, here at KPRC, too, to work with the Houston Food Bank over the years and, uh, and, and to keep that relationship going because we know That's how right. important it is for the city. Incredible contribution from them. Uh, Zach Lashway, thank you. Thank you for that.